Home Remedies to Get Rid of Bugs Before we begin, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the notification bell to be updated to future health-related videos. Now let's start. With home remedies capturing the minds and imaginations of so many people it is no wonder that a lot of people have also taken the time to ensure that there are plenty of viable options for ridding the home of pests as well. While the house with pests and bugs can be a huge problem, what about if you have bugs in your actual garden? This can become a huge problem if you are trying to grow the majority of your family's fruits and vegetables. In order to combat the bugs naturally you need some assistance. Knowing how to get rid of bugs without chemicals is not only great for the environment, but it is also substantially cheaper than using those pesky chemicals. The majority of people realize that bugs are a danger to any garden. If you have a large garden or even a small garden you are going to battle bugs at some point. Rather than trying to get the bugs to move out with the usage of expensive chemicals start turning to some natural options instead. In order to really improve your garden you do not have to necessarily use stinky supplies either. In fact, you can expand your garden even more, and rid yourself of the bugs. If you like herbs, then you are certainly in for a treat. Herbs such as fennel, dill, cilantro and also parsley are all fabulous to have in a garden. These herbs tend to heavily attract the ladybug. This is actually one bug you do want in your garden. Not only are they actually on the cute side, but they are great for eating many of the harmful bugs that could be wreaking major damage on your garden. Spider mites and even aphids are certainly no match to the ladybug and having just a couple of ladybugs in your garden that are encouraged to stay by the herbs will allow you to rid your garden of some serious problems. Search for a praying mantis. I know it sounds strange, I have not only suggested you bring ladybugs into your garden but now we are suggesting you bring yet another bug into the garden. Does this seem rather counterproductive? In reality, the praying mantis will eat just about any harmful bug you have in your garden. They eat a lot, and because they are not harmful to people they make a fabulous option for removing bugs without the usage of chemicals. From grasshoppers, crickets, flies, and even aphids the praying mantis is one of the hardest working bugs you could ever put in your garden. If you are running into a problem of no clue what type of bug you are up against you should take a few potatoes and cut them into pieces. You then want to take each piece and poke a small stick or skewer through it. You will then need to bury each potato into the ground just a few inches so that it is covered. Space all of the potatoes out by approximately one foot, and try to plant them as close to the roots of your plants as possible, without actually damaging the roots. After a week you can come pull the potatoes up. Not only should you now be able to see what exactly your bug problem is, they should also be trapped within the potato and eating that, rather than your actual garden. Growing a natural garden really is possible, but to get the best effects you need to be willing to do your homework. You cannot simply toss some plants into the ground and hope for the best results. Learning how to help the plants grow as healthily as possible will allow you to enjoy your garden, and also remove the majority of the bugs that you would otherwise be fighting all during the gardening season. There is no reason to resort to expensive chemicals when there are plenty of great inexpensive solutions. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.